All right, guys, better late than never, but I am sitting here drinking a Zevia, wanting to tell you all about the end of week two of my Cut Down to KiddoCon challenge. We are halfway through, but first, let's check in with my friends over at Two Crazy Ketos. Hey guys, one thing I wanted to know, since we are officially halfway through, I don't think we discussed this at the beginning, but what sort of stats or measurements did you take at the beginning of this challenge, and how often are you checking those? Okay, so I definitely should have taken more measurements. I don't know what I was thinking. I weighed myself and I was 144 pounds when I started and then I weighed in after week one and I gained a pound. <laughs> and that really ticked me off. That's so annoying. It's really annoying. So I know I'm doing the right thing, but you know, weight fluctuates. I don't know if I'm gaining some muscle. That's what they say, right? Like <laughs> muscle weighs more. That's literally always what they say. And like, you know, the funny thing is like, I appreciate it, you guys, but the second I lift a five pound dumbbell, don't tell me that the two pounds I gained was muscle, okay? Sometimes other stuff is going on, but I digress. <laughs> so I finally am like, that's it. I'm not weighing anymore until we leave for KetoCon, but I will say that I'm noticing room in my clothes. I'm noticing a difference in your body. So, so if that means anything, yes. it, it's, it, I'm noticing a huge difference in her body. I wish somebody was noticing a huge difference in my body. <laughs> Jealous. Things are happening, but I should have taken more like measurements ahead of time. I did the same thing. I didn't measure anything. Although I've never really been big into the measurements, I've kind of just gone by how my clothes feel. Mm -hmm. So I did weigh myself at the start of the challenge and I was 185 pounds and I stupidly weigh every day. I don't know why I do it. I just do it. I just like kind of like to see things and I've gotten all the way down to like 181, then I'm back up to 183, 184. So I'm like right where I wanna be, but I noticed today I did some lacrosse games and my uniform is much looser than it was at the last uh, tournament, which was about a month ago. Wow. So we'll see how it goes. And what I'm probably gonna do is just continue to just kind of check my clothes and stuff as I go along. Oh my God, that is awesome. Like, you know, I took my weight and I did full body measurements at the beginning of this. I'm not going to weigh or measure again until the very end. I want as much time as possible to go between my starting measurements and weights and my ending measurements and weights so that I can see the biggest difference. But I can say I am also noticing difference in my clothes as well. And I'm noticing difference in my tank top. Of course, we got to get that flex on. What is that, you guys? What is that? So... Yeah, that's definitely happening with my uh, exercising. So there's things I can tell, but my official numbers aren't gonna happen to the very end. Okay, next question. We dropped another 100 calories again this week. Did you notice any significant difference with the decrease in calories? Okay, so for me, I didn't really notice a huge difference. And I think it's for a couple of reasons. First of all, this week was kind of a hectic week because we had family in town for Caleb's graduation. And I did a bunch of like different recipes and stuff so that I could meal prep for them. So I knew the exact like proportions for each recipe I did. I had cut everything ahead of time. So I didn't like honestly track everything perfectly the way I had planned on it only because we got busy and everything. But I do know that like we stayed within our macros. Mm -hmm. And if anything, I probably stayed under my calories because since the whole week was so hectic, we did mostly OMAD all week. You know, we weren't eating our first meal until like five or six o'clock. So, and that ended up being our only meal. So I didn't notice a huge difference. I did notice though, once again, the carbs, because when everybody else was eating salads, we weren't eating salads. No. I mean, you just never realize how much you miss vegetables. Like, I feel like that's adulthood to the max. I miss vegetables. I definitely noticed that everybody was getting way more veggies than us. Yeah. That made me a little bit sad. But I didn't notice the decreased calories so much this week. The busier I was doing fun things, like, I didn't, I wasn't so sad that I was missing my food. So I think that, like, you know, my tendency when I'm on any kind of cut is to just, like, be sad alone in bed. Like, <sighs> oh, I don't get to eat stuff. And... And that's really silly. Right, and I experience the same thing. If I keep myself busy, I'm not hungry. I agree, like that's always how it is. The busier I am, the easier it is to reduce calories, to fast. Yeah, I mean, it's just you have to make it a point to stay busy because boredom is the enemy <laughs> of a mini cut. 
Hey guys, so this next question is just me being legitimately curious and selfish. So actually turns out I have a last minute work meeting that popped up just this week. So I'm curious to know, how would you work to hit these specific macro goals that we have set? Like when I'm gonna be outside of my normal environment. Like I'm, I'm a little bit nervous about it, but I feel confident because I prepared myself. But like, what would you do? That is such a great question because we don't do this keto lifestyle in a bubble, yeah. right? You have life happens. You can't just be in your own kitchen cooking all the time. And I think you do have to have a plan for vacations or people visiting or, you know, yeah, going out of town for work trips. That's great. So um, something that we do is make sure that we Yelp ahead of time that the whole area where we're going to be staying so we kind of have a plan of you know different menus that would um fit the keto lifestyle and we can choose ahead of time if we go to this restaurant this is what we'll get if we go to this restaurant this is what we'll get and kind of have a plan that way for all of the eating out that we will do oh my god that is such a great idea preparation is key that is a brilliant idea yeah and i well, just to add on to that, I mean, that's kind of how we always are whenever we go away, which isn't very often, but like even going to KetoCon, like we've booked a hotel that has a kitchen in it so that we can go and get some eggs and stuff like that and know that even no matter what they have at the convention or, you know, going out to eat or whatever, we can handle some of our basic needs there. And I always like to have a couple of like good keto friendly snacks, like in the house, like some meat sticks. I know you don't like your meat sticks, but you know, like I like meat sticks or having like little pieces of keto brick that have already been melted down. And we just even put up a video this past week on like 10 healthy snacks that for keto that you can get at any store, like pre hard boiled eggs or pickles, things like that. And just looking in the areas wherever you're going, where can you pick that stuff up? And like yeah. everything we had in that video was stuff that you could even pick up at a local gas station. Yeah. And just planning everything and planning our meals at the beginning of the day or even before we leave on the trip knowing this is what I'm going to eat. This is where I'm going to go out. And you know, even if there's a convention kind of taking a look at what meals do they have there and what can I eat before I get there? This way I can kind of stick to my plan. That is great advice. I think it really boils down to what you said. It's just preparation. So the good thing is I have my meal preps and like, I'm just going to like try to take them with me. Now breakfast will be good cause I can eat it in my room, but like, during the middle of the day, I'm gonna find a microwave somewhere and I'm gonna heat up my afternoon meal prep. So like, I'm feeling confident because I'm very committed to sticking to this plan because A, it's a challenge and I wanna succeed and B, because I am noticing those differences. This is the leanest and the best I've felt in months and I don't wanna give that up just because I'm going out of town. As long as we prepare and stick to the plan, we can reach our goals. Okay, finally, we've been doing this for two weeks. We are pros, but is there anything you're looking to change or tweak for the back half of this challenge? I can't believe we're already halfway through, but anything you want to change for the weeks coming up? That's a good question. That's a great question. We were just talking about that today. We were just talking about it this morning because, you know, like next, this coming week, we actually have our two of our boys are going away to a youth conference. So we're going to have the house to ourselves for Yay. a week and we won't have to bother cooking for them or worrying about like, are we giving them enough veggies? Are we giving them salad or anything like that? Right. So we kind of made the decision that we're going to start like not saying in the program that we're going to go lower than 15 carbs, but we're going to kind of start decreasing those a little bit, mm -hmm. probably get ourselves somewhere around 10 or 11. But if we go up to 15, we're still within the guidelines of what we said for the challenge, but we're going to try to lower them a little bit. Yeah, and I think we're gonna try to keep the food simple. You know, when we had people visiting, we wanted to make things like lasagna and different like casseroles and stuff like that so that whether they were on keto or not, they could enjoy the food. And so, right. you know, there's some hidden carbs in, in all the little recipes and stuff and the cheeses and things like that. Yeah, and so, I don't think my mother and sister wanted to eat just ground beef and eggs, which is I think no. what we're planning on doing this week pretty much. Yeah. Ground beef, eggs, butter. Yeah. And finish up the veggies that we do have in the first couple of days. Like we have a little bit of like salad greens left. We have like one thing of cauliflower left. And then we're going to kind of ditch the veggies for the next two weeks. I know. It's coming. <laughs> 
That's exactly what I have to do too. I was just chucking vegetables left and right and it's a meat and cheese and fat fest over here. But I mean, it's delicious, but yeah, like that's a great idea to lower even more. I'm already there. So I'm already at 10 total carbs going to five next week. So I feel you, good for you though. And the other thing we did decide that we were gonna do is for the last like five to seven days, we're gonna only do a keto brick and butter. So we're each gonna eat a keto brick a day and then fill in all the rest of our calories with butter, which means I'm gonna eat, be eating about 700 calories a day of butter. So you're talking about like fat coffees and yeah, just, just pats of loads butter. of pats of butter. Oh my gracious. That is nuts. Like, whoa, that's amazing. I can't wait to hear how that goes. That's hardcore, way to go. So overall, I think this was a great week. It was, it was a really good and week. And I'm excited about, like you say, the back half of this challenge, like what's gonna happen. So we can't wait to check in with you next week. Yeah, we only have two and a half more weeks left to go. And we get to meet you. Yeah, so we'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye. Bye, you guys. Once again, I cannot wait to meet you guys at KetoCon as well. It's gonna be so much fun. I am loving this challenge. This was a great idea. I mean, even though it was my way to go, Autumn, a great idea. <laughs> this was a great idea, but I'm so glad to be able to collab with you guys. Um, but just this challenge has really helped me get back on track. It's really given me a reason to stay strict and stay strong. And you always get rewarded with feeling great. It might not be the scale. It might not be something else, but your clothes feel better. You got that definition going on. Like just give yourself some time and stick to it consistently and you will meet your goals. Okay guys, heading into week three, cut down to 1300 calories, 10 total carbs. I'm gonna be feeling it this week, but it's okay, cause it's all for my goals. How did you do on the challenge this week? Comment down below and let me know. I cannot wait to hear all about it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, monthly weigh-ins, monthly keto crate unboxings, and the occasional product review and recipe. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and I'll see you next week.